Welcome to our five day fitness challenge, day one. This fitness challenge is to get you to exercise for five days in a row. Today we're going to be starting with some limbering. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is opposite arm and knee all the way up. And we are just going to warm up that body. Here we go. Bring that knee up and bring that opposite arm up. Here we go. I'm so glad you guys are here. We are starting the year with our five day challenge. We are going to exercise every day for five days. You can do it. This is going to get you in the habit of exercising. So today we're just going to warm up and limber up. Here we go. Almost done. Warming up. Bring those knees up. Warm those legs. Warm those hips. And three, two, one, relax. All right. For our next one, we are going to do some side punches. So stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. Knees are soft. We're going to punch from side to side. Here we go. Warming up that rotational motion of our back. And leave those arms nice and high if you can. Just punch gently to the side. No weights today. All you're going to need is a chair. Just a chair to work out today. Rotate that upper body. That's it. Knees are soft. Try to tighten up that tummy muscle. Pin that tummy to your spine. Nice and tight. There we go. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. We're almost done. We're going to head into some step jacks. And three, two, one, relax. All right. Our next one, we're going to do step jacks. So for these, we want our feet to start nice and close together. Your ribs are lifted. We're going to step out, our arms come up, and out to the other side. Just like a jumping jack, but we're not jumping. We are just stepping. Here we go. That's it. You guys are doing great. What a great start to the year. So try to pretend there's a big circle and you are just try, you are just drawing your fingers along the edge of that circle. Nice arch. Here we go. Oh boy, I can feel this in my shoulders. Stepping side to side. As you get a little bit more confident, you can step a little bit wider. Here we go. We're almost done. We will be done in three, two, one. Relax. All right. Grab a chair. Let's put a chair right in the middle there. Hold on to the chair with your left hand and we're just going to reach and kick. Just reach and kick. That's it. We're going to start with our right foot. Warm up that light right leg. Here we go. A little discus kick as we call it. You're doing good. Nice kick. Not too high. We're rotating our upper body. Let's try three, two, one. Relax. Other side. Come around to the other side of the chair. We're going to reach and kick. That's it. Reach and kick. A little bit of kicking. We are limbering up those legs. Here we go. Keep going. You can do it. Why are you guys here? Why are you here today? What are your goals for 2019? Let's try three, two, one, and relax. All right. I'm going to bring that chair back because we're going to do some side lunges. So for a side lunge, same position as the step jack, we're going to lunge to the uh, right side and then lunge to the left side. That's it. Try to keep your feet on the floor. Put your heel nice and flat on that floor. And we're just going to go side to side. Take a, a little lunge as far as you can comfortably go. And you don't have to keep up with me. You can go at your own pace. There is no competition here. Here we go. You guys are doing good. Side to side. Here we go. We're almost done with the side lunges. Side to side. Let's end this in three, two,
two, one. Excellent job. All right. Windmills. Let's try our windmills. Feet shoulder width apart. Nice and soft. Put your right hand on your right thigh. Bring that left arm up and stick that left hip out. Reach down toward your knee, your calf or your ankle. Bring your other arm up. Try to touch the ceiling. Really stretch it out. For three, two, one. Relax. Come back down. Oh boy, you can feel that. Loosen up. Let's try the other side. Left hand, left thigh. Left thigh, reach down to your knee, calf or ankle. Bring up that right arm. Stick out that right hip. Hip goes towards the wall. Reach. Try to touch that ceiling. Here we go. We're just kind of rotating that whole upper body. Here we go. In three, two, one. Bingo. All right. I'm going to move the chair out of the way because we're going to do a reverse lunge with a twist. So bring your arms up in the middle. We're going to step back with the right foot. Do a little lunge and catch your balance. Rotate right and come back. Let's try the left side. Left foot back. Do a little lunge. Rotate left and come back. This is a tough one. You really need a lot of balance. Right foot, twist, come back. Good. Let's go back with the left foot. We're going to twist, come back. Here we go. One more time each side, right? We're going to come back with the right foot. We're going to lunge, twist, and come back. One more time with the left. Come back with the left foot, lunge, twist, and come back. All right. All right. Grab your axe. Everybody, grab your axe. You got your axe? All right. Feet are shoulder width apart. Bring that axe up to the right side and chop. We are going to chop some wood. Here we go. Chop, chop, chop. All the way up, all the way down. Here we go. We are loosening up that body. This is a wonderful exercise for the upper and lower body. Let's try three more. Three, two, one, and switch. Other side. Here we go. Chop down from the other side. Here we go. Chop. That's it. We are limbering up. I am limbering up my shoulders. I can feel that. Chop. Chop. Good little endurance workout we're doing here too. Here we go. That's it. In three, two, one. Relax. All right. We're going to need our chair for the next one. Put your chair sideways. Face your chair. Reach down. Hold on to the chair. Take a step back. We're going to crouch and then straighten up that body and look up to the ceiling at the end. Really try to bring your bottom towards the ground. So we're going to stretch, bring that bottom towards the ground. There we go. Crouch, pull through, look up. There we go. Wonderful exercise for your legs, for your back and upper body. Here we go. You can do it. We are working through our little 20 minute session here very quickly. This is called the pull through all the way up and down. Let's do two more. One. That's it. And two. Last one. Here we go. And up and relax. All right. Stand up nice and tall. Chair goes back in the middle. We're going to sit on the chair. We'll sit on the very edge. Hold on to the chair. Stick out that right leg. We're going to reach our left arm up and we're going to lift our bottom off the chair as we reach. So we're going to reach with that left hand and lift your bottom off the chair. I think this is called a half Turkish stand. Here we go. Reach. Let's do one more and then we're going to try the other side. Reach and down. Let's try the other side. So we're going to straighten out that left foot. Hold on to the chair. Now we're going to reach over with that right hand all the way up. That's it. Reach over. Lift your bottom off that chair. Excellent job. You guys are doing great. 
Here we go. Let's do two more. One and two. Ooh, let's start from the beginning again for our last set. I'm going to move the chair out of the way. We are going to reach up with opposite arm and leg. Here we go. That's it. We did this one before, didn't we? Yes, we did about 10 minutes ago. We are going to run through all these exercises again to get a nice 20 minute exercise routine. And you know them all now. You can do them very easily. Here we go. Lift that knee up. Let's try lifting that leg up a little bit higher this time. Reach and lift that knee up. Here we go. Reach. That's it. Reach. Almost done. Here we go. And three, two, one. Relax. All right. Side punches. Feet shoulder width apart, nice and soft. A little bend at the hips. We are going to punch side to side. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. You got it. Here we go. This is working our rotational motion of our back. You can feel that rotation, I'll bet. Feet are nice and planted on the ground. Try to keep your elbows raised and give a nice push. Let's see if we can push a little bit further. I am going to reach a little bit more. Here we go. Good punch. Good punch. That's it. Side to side. Almost done. Here we go. Punch. Keep those elbows up. Hang in there. You can do it. That's why you're here. Here we go. Here we go. Almost done. In three, two, one. Excellent job. All right, step jacks. Get in your nice step jack position. If feet are close together. We're going to go jack and jack. Side to side. That's it. Just bring your legs out a nice comfortable distance. And we are going to do some jumping jacks. You are going to feel this in your shoulder, especially your deltoid muscles pulling those arms up. Here we go. Keep going. We are in the home stretch, as they say. Here we go. Jacks, good. Here we go. I'm feeling it too. I've already worked out once today. I'm definitely getting my 30 minutes of <laughs> exercise in today. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I can feel this. Coming down to the wire. Here we go. In three, two, one. Relax. Grab your chair. Place your chair in the middle. Left hand on the chair. We're going to reach and kick. That's it. Reach and kick. You got it. Nice discus kick. Here we go. Bring that foot back. Kind of get your balance and kick. Every time you plant that foot, kind of get your balance again so you don't fall down. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on to that chair. Let's do three. Two, one, other side. Bring that chair over. Here we go. Reach with our left hand and kick. That's it. Let's see if we can kick a little bit higher this time. We're going to reach and kick and reach and kick. Do a little bit more motion, a little bit more reaching, a little bit more kicking. Here we go. Three, two, one, Ooh, relax. All right. Let's bring that chair over to the side. We are going to try our side lunges. Feet close together. Take a nice step to the right and a nice step to the left. This is really working on our balance, working on our leg strength, a little bit of stretching on our hips. That's it. A little bit of side lunges. Side to side. You're going to feel that in your quads for sure. Side to side. You don't go, have to go as fast as me or you can go faster than me, but this is pretty good here. Go at your own speed. We're, we're not in the competition here in this group. We are into getting better ourselves. Here we go. Three, 
and two, one, relax. All right, windmills. So our feet are about shoulder width apart. Slide that right hand down your thigh, past your knee, ankle, or calf. Stick out that left hip and bring that left arm up and keep sliding down. Slide, slide, slide as far as you can go to your knee, calf, or ankle. Bring that other arm up. Three, two, one, and relax. Let's try the other side. Left hand, left thigh. Reach down towards your knee, calf, or ankle. Stick out that right hip. Bring up that arm and keep sliding. Down, down, down. See if you can bring that arm up nice to the top, top, top. Wiggle those fingers, try to touch that ceiling. Here we go. We're almost done. Here we go in three, two, one. Bingo, all right. Time for reverse lunges. So for a reverse lunge with a twist, we're gonna bring our arms up, step back with that right foot, do a little lunge, twist right, come back, and left side. Left foot back, do a little lunge, twist to the side, and back. This is a tough one. Right foot, lunge, rotate, and back. Boy, you can feel this in your leg. You can feel this really, your ankle's really trying to balance. Mine are really trying to balance. Here we go. Right, and up, and left. Twist and up. Let's try one more on the right side for good measure. Step back with the right foot. Lunge, rotate, and come back. Excellent job. All right. Now we're going to chop some wood again. So grab that axe. Feet are nice shoulder width apart. Reach up to the right and down. Here we go. Diagonally chop all the way up and all the way down. I'm going to try to do a little bit more than I did last time. Here we go. Really try to stretch it out. Rotate. Here we go. Three, two, one. Other side. Bring it up to the other side and chop down. See if we can give it a little bit more motion this time. All the way up and all the way down. That's it. All the way up and all the way down. You can do it. Here we go, we're almost done. Two more exercises after this, and you'll have your 20 minute day one exercises in the bag. Three, two, one. Ooh boy, all right. Grab your chair again. We're gonna do our pull through, so put your chair sideways. Face your chair. Hold on to the chair with both hands. Step back. We're gonna crouch and stretch it out, look up to the ceiling, and bring that bottom down. There we go. This is a pull through, here we go. I'm gonna crouch, stretch it out, look up towards the ceiling, bring that bottom down. You got it. We're almost done. Can't believe it's been 20 minutes already. One more exercise after this. You guys can do it, here we go. Let's do a couple more of these pull throughs. I'm gonna squat. Stretch it out, look up to the ceiling. Here we go, squat, stretch it out. You can do it. Here we go, three, two, one. All right, one more exercise. We're gonna put the chair right in the middle there. You're gonna sit on the chair. We're gonna stretch out that right leg, hold on to the chair. We're gonna reach around with the left hand over our body and lift right off the chair. Little half raise here. It's a little harder because I have my right foot out. That makes it a little bit harder. Let's try one more on this side and switch to the other. All right, right foot in, left foot out. Hold on to that chair. Reach around with that right arm. Lift your bottom up and sit. Reach and sit, that's it. Lift that bottom up. What an excellent functional exercise this is. I really loved when I saw somebody doing this exercise last year. 
I said, that is a fun exercise. Let's try three, two, one, and relax. So thanks for joining us for day one of this five day fitness challenge. We are gonna try to exercise every day for five days. Join me tomorrow for some strengthening and we're gonna just continue. We're gonna get in the habit and we're gonna get some consistency going. Thanks again and we'll see you tomorrow.